I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I have my weekly Woolworth shopping haul to share with you. We are a family of three, myself, my husband, our 14 year old son, and we have two German Shepherds. Today is Tuesday the 12th of March. Apologies if you can hear the dryer going in the background. I'm trying to get sheets to dry today to put back on the bed uh, because I go back to work tomorrow. <coughs> Excuse me. So this week's shop, um, my husband is back, my son's back at school, we've got uh, puppy school this afternoon, weather permitting, it is drizzling outside, hence the reason why the dryer's going. Um, so we also have our um, uh, local fair about 50 or 60 kilometres away that I'm heading to on Saturday, so I've got a couple of snacky things to take to that with us as well. So. Let's get into it and sit, let you know what we've got. Now, because of the drizzle and it's warm today, there's a bit of condensation on stuff. So, apologies for that. Um, first is Axel. He's our five-and-a-half-year-old German Shepherd. He has got the grain-free adult roast meat with sweet potato because there is still some left in the fridge. So, that one was $8. And then I also got two of the growing pup nature's goodness for Bella she's our five month old German Shepherd she has this with mints and some natural yogurt and bits and pieces um, I haven't got yogurt for her today because I think I've still got enough left over but we'll see how we go I might have to duck out because uh, I did try and get by with the, as little as possible this week but we'll just see what happens so there's two of these they, they were two for six dollars fifty instead of four dollars each today so I grabbed two because one might be enough for the week but it might not and because they're on special i did grab two of those um i got the now the harvey fresh milk they didn't have any two liters they only had one liter or three liter today so i got the three liter because kale's been having cereal but also been having a hot chocolate just about every day on a weekend sometimes twice so I figured the extra milk wouldn't go astray um and if it gets to the point where it's getting close to its date I can always make some custard or cauliflower cheese or, you know, something or other with a bechamel sauce. So that was $6.50. Then my family are really enjoying this Yoplait protein yogurt. Um, normally the protein stuff they're not fussed on, but honestly, this is the consistency of like a Greek yogurt. And it's not grainy. It doesn't have that extra funny taste that sometimes the protein ones have so um and it's 25 percent less sugar so i'm quite happy for them to have this it wasn't on special but it's one of their uh, low price every day or whatever they call them so they're six dollars 75 for the 950 grams they were seven dollars 50 i think um and i was just getting them if they're on special but because they're eating them if there isn't anything else on special i'm just getting them these because my husband and my son both like that one so i've got that one to pop in the fridge uh the mints today i've actually got three of the 500 gram packets of mints for six dollars fifty so that was a total of nineteen dollars fifty probably two for bella this week um and then one for us i'll probably do a moroccan mints or something quick and easy because my husband's made it into the singles finals for bowls on friday night so we probably won't be home Friday night and he'll be having a couple of rolls after work as a bit of a practice. So I want some quick and easy teas. So I've got three of those. So that's Bella's mint and some for us. I did get some of the diced chicken leg again today. This is 500 grams for $9.50. I've got a rice ariso packet up the back there that I thought I might do a rice ariso with the diced leg and some veggies and things sort of as another tea because they're things that Kayla and I can have earlier if hubby isn't home and I can just heat up for him. So we'll see how we go because I am, like I've said before, I work Wednesday to Friday now. Um, so yeah, so I've got that one. Now I only got a small packet of sausages today because tonight, weather permitting, or this afternoon, is Bella's last puppy school. 
then she'll go into the positive training class with Dog Club, which is Saturday afternoon. So we'll probably still do sausages and things, but they're having their sort of recess. I'm not sure whether it'll be two or three weeks before we'll go back. So I just got the 10 thin beef sausages so I can cook one up for her and then we've got some for a meal. They were 600 grams and that was $6.50. I think you would get 24 sausages for 12 possibly. So I was getting one and sort of um, stringing him out for the couple of weeks, but I've just got the small one for today. Um, my husband likes the Gippsland um, twist yogurt, the flavoured twist. So I got him the blueberry one. That was on special for $5.50 today. And then because I've got this little fair on Saturday, I got whipping cream. So that'll do um, $3.05. That'll do a couple of chocolate mousses for people to try. And I got one sour cream because that'll make up a couple of dips with sour cream and whole egg mayo with the flavours to spice blend. So that was $3.20. Um, my normal Saturday morning market is also on this week. So I'm foregoing that one to go out to Condi. Um, it's their once a year fair and it's their 40th anniversary this year so it's going to be a big one and it's a lovely community event i go out about seven o'clock in the morning and i probably won't be home till about five so it's going to be a long long day but um yep that's what we'll pack up and take with us then um for my son they didn't have a lot in the milk section so i got him this one this is a shake and shake from Brown's a spearmint flavour because he does like mint stuff and what you do is you shake this like mad and it actually goes thick almost like a thick shake so I don't know we'll try him with that one and see how he goes that was three dollars um got my husband the McCain super pizza slices these are the there's two great big uh, rectangle ones in here uh, and I usually just cut them in half top them with cheese and put it in the air fryer so I got that, they're on special for $7. So I got some shredded cheese, that's just the Hillview shredded cheese, 700 grams for $9.50. I got some lamb leg steaks, because like we can have that with a Greek salad or something. Um, there's four in there, so 540 grams for $12. And then there's a couple of things I needed in Kmart, and I was a bit kind of sneaky. Either came out or Bunnings or something, but because it was drizzling today, I just got what I could get in Woolies. Uh, I needed to get another toilet brush set just periodically or just change these in the two bathrooms of the house. So this was a Sabco stainless steel one. It was $15.75. I reckon that's probably the same price as what I would have paid at Bunnings. And I just didn't want to stop somewhere else in the drizzle to, to do that. So that went into my weekly shop this week. Um, Kale was needing some more socks. So he likes these low cut ones. My husband also has low cut socks. So I try and find Kale the ones that have like the different colours on them to differentiate them in the wash. So these say Underworks um, as the like brand actually on the socks. So there's a blue pair, a yellow pair and an orange pair. They were $10 for the three pack. And they sort of, they look like they're a little bit padded on the bottom. So, um, and it says 90% recycled fibres. So I thought that was pretty good value. So they will do him. He just goes through shoes and socks like you wouldn't believe. He's 14, so he's growing as well. He's six foot now um, and still growing. So I got him those. He needed another lunchbox. Now this is the lunchbox that he's currently got. So the cooler bag actually fits this size lunchbox. Um, it's a really good one because it's got like the little tray here where you put your sandwich. In underneath he puts a little packet of like crackers or chips or something. Um, he doesn't take the little round container but this side will fill up with carrots and snow peas and his cukes and grapes and whatever. And then in the two little ones this side that have got like a little opening and closing lid... Um, he usually puts some butter biscuits in one and some dried fruit in another. So he and the little um, divider that sits on the top of here has broken on his other one. So we're putting things in like snack bags and still poking them in. But I told him if I saw these on special, I would grab him another one. And then we've got one in rotation. Like So if there's one in the dishwasher, he's got one in his lunchbox, um, in his bag. 
or we ha I have got a forgetful teenager sometimes it's still in his bag so then it can go for a proper run through the dishwasher and I can just grab the other one out for him so they were half price today at $8.92 which I thought is fantastic because I swear the other one I bought like this like three years later and it's only just started to go in the little seal thing. So I thought that was great value. So heavy stoke that I found one the same size. Um, toothbrush heads. I needed some more. I've got a Colgate toothbrush. These were the only ones that they had in Woolies, this Colgate Pulse. I think they'll fit our toothbrush. They were on super clearance. So if they do, I'll be making sure I add some to next week. Four heads um, are normally $30 and I paid $9 for these. So I got just the one because it's got four in here. So if they don't fit, then um, I won't have to worry. I'll just look for something else. But if they do fit, I'm going to definitely get some other ones and stash them in the drawer. It's been quite a while since I've um, had to buy them because when they were on special when I bought them before, I bought two or three packets. So I had like... A dozen or more so um yeah so they've lasted ages so i'll be keeping an eye out on those and if they do fit the electronic toothbrush i've got i will be getting some more for next week um now let's have a look we've got some cereal for kale so these were half price this week he's still got some marlow ones in the cupboard but because they were half price i got him a packet of each so the Cheerios for $3.75, they were half price. Uh, that is the 450 grams. And then the Nutri-Grain, oh, I'm not going to pick that up because you can see that. That's the 470 gram box. So that's the big one. That was half price at $4.50 as well. So I just got those to stick in the cupboard. I think I've said to you before, I shop clearances and specials if I can at half prices. Now that I'm shopping on a Tuesday, there's not as much that's on clearance and reduced price. So I'm very, very careful at looking at what's half price of the things that we normally buy. Uh, and that seems to be the lion's share of, of what I buy. I've still saved quite a lot today, but I've also spent a bit because I've got a few extra things. Um, so the macaroni cheese, that was on special. That's the four packs for $3.50. Normally they're like five six dollars or something so i only buy those when they're on special and i thought i'd try kale on these cheesel crackers he loves cheesels and he does like crackers so this might be a little container that can go in his lunchbox maybe um you know just put them in a the sandwich bag or in that little container in the end of his lunchbox that was only two dollars for the packet of 135 grams and then in the chip aisle he has still got some popcorn but i saw these these were the 10 pack of jumpies these are made in Australia chips. There's salt and vinegar, uh, three salt and vinegar, four chicken and three original in the little chips, just potato um, chips. And because we're heading out to Condi, I thought that these might make good snacks to take with us. But also then he's just got some to have a snack in the cupboard. The little packets, which I'm not sure whether there's five or six in them. I think they were two for $7 today. And this packet of 10 was $6. So it was around about the same price. So I just grabbed those just for him to try. Um, and I haven't needed to buy him any dried fruit for a while. But the Angus Park Fruit Medley was on special. This is just diced fruit. So it's got sultanas and diced apricots, peaches, apples and pears. And he does love this to pop a bit in his lunchbox. They don't have a recess and a lunch as such. They actually have a lunch one and lunch two because they're the same length break. He'll tend to have his veggies and his bickies and his dried fruit and things for lunch one and then his sandwich and whatever's left over in lunch two. So I like to have give him something that's a little bit substantial for lunch one to actually get him through. Um, and this has been great. So that's 375 grams. It is $7.60. But that was on special, so um, I'll stash that in the cupboard and just see how we go. Now, the Fever Tree drinks, I have had the tonic waters before, but this one was half price, and it was the dry ginger ale light, and it is very light, but I like dry ginger ale. So gingery and fresh, I thought I would try that. It's only 18 calories per 100 mils, and like I said, it was half price at $2.50. So I thought I would just try that one today um and then for kale's lunch these sakata 
plain stars. Well, I got them the other day to, for him to try and he did really like them. So I got these for him and they were $2.75 on special again today. So I got those and I'm not sure if I told you. I bought some of these Sunrise Protein Trips to try a couple of weeks ago. Well, Hubby found them when he got home from Bowles one night about, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock and scoffed into them and said they were wonderful. So <laughs> I didn't get a chance to take them to work. So I thought I would try the sour cream and chives ones um, today. Um, either pop them in my lunch bag or share them with Hubby. Doesn't really matter. Um, they were $2.50. I think they were half price again today. So I won't pay $5 for a bag this size, but I will pay $2.50. So I got those, and this is just the rice and riso chicken. I've had this since I was young. Um, and when I was first cooking it by myself, I would make one of these and just eat it just like that. Uh, but I have got that diced chicken leg and some veggies and things to, to go with it to make one of our meals this week. Uh, for $2.20, it's a great thing to have, um, yeah, just as a quick and easy meal. So I've got that one. I thought I would try the Woolies brand of tuna and crackers this week. This is the tuna and crackers snack pack, uh, Thousand Island dressing. They were $2.10 and I thought, well, that's a good little box just to chuck in my lunch bag. If I'm wanting something extra on top of my container of salad... Um, the vitamin C, Nature's Way vitamin C gummies, I did get these last week, but they were half price again this week. So I got an extra one to stash in the cupboard because more often than not when it's half price, there's none on the shelf. Um, and I don't really want to pay $24 for these when I can wait and pay 12 So um, yeah, I've just got an extra one. I'll just put that up in the pantry and then when the boys have gone through the other one that's in there, I can just bring that one down. So I've got that one. Um, odd Bunch Adorable Apples this week. I've got the two kilos because they are Granny Smiths and a reasonable size. They were $7.80 today um, for two kilos. But I like having a Granny Smith with some sliced cheddar cheese and some nut butter for a morning tea or a snack. It fills you up, it gets you through, you feel like you've had something sweet, savoury all at once. Um, I just enjoy that. And I know Hubby will eat that as well. So I got those. Um, I'm wondering even when I go out to Condi on the weekend, I'm always hesitant about cutting apples um, like I'm packing them in a lunchbox. I've never done that for kale because I don't like how apples go brown once you cut them. But if I take a little veggie knife with me and some cheese and some nut butter, then I can do that and have that while I'm out there. So that was my other way of thinking for that. Uh, sometimes the food queues are a bit long um, and kale helps me. So he'll go and find food if he doesn't have to wait ages for it. So that's why I thought I need to take some things with us. Uh, I got some more kicks for kale, 250 grams for $3. I found him sugar snap peas, and we haven't had these for a long time. The 150 grams for $4.50. Baby spinach, because that will go in our Moroccan mints. Um, 120 grams of that for $2.20. And I just keep that sealed until we're ready to have that Moroccan mint and just throw that in. Um, usually I use the whole bag. And then snow peas, because that's our other one that Kayla's been taking. 250 grams for $6.90. I got two more of the Odd Bunch Continental Cucumbers, because they were nice and big this week. And $1.20 each. So I got those, because I've been taking chopped up salad to work, and also um, putting it in a hubby salad that I leave for him for lunch and also we might do Greek salad for tea with those land steaks. So we will definitely go through those cucumbers. I've got kale treat today. There's no chocolate today because the chocolates were all three for $15 and I was not buying um, three blocks of chocolate. But I got him an apple and cinnamon muffin. This is just a single one. It was um, marked down from $2.25 to $1.69, so I thought he might just like that for an after-school snack. And the crumpets, they were half price today. My trick from a couple of weeks ago, I got one on the Tuesday, and so they didn't go mouldy, I popped them straight in the freezer, and they defrosted and toasted fine. So today, the crumpets were half price, so I got two. 
So they were $2.20 each. I got them and I'll stick them both in the freezer. I reckon that we'll probably have crumpets for breakfast on Saturday morning because, like I said, hubby's in the, the bowl single final on Friday night. I've got to head out to Condi Sunday morning and so uh, Saturday morning, and so I think it'll be quick and easy breakfast. And if the other ones either get eaten at another time or until next weekend, that'll be fine. And then lastly, I've got Kale's Raisin Toast. This was the one that was on special this week. It's the Mighty Soft Raisin Toast, just the standard slices, but he'll still tuck into that at $3.50. And that's it. So I've got 45 items today, so um, a little bit down, but I tried to only get what I really, really needed. Trying to keep that budget down, even though I've got things like I've got the toilet brush thing, I've got here Kale's lunchbox, some socks, some toothbrush heads. You know, there's a few extra bits and pieces in there, um, but I still thought I did okay. It was a total of $243.66 today. Uh, but my savings, now this is where I'm noticing it change. My savings today was $78.03. So keeping an eye on those half price specials, it seems to be that I'm that's where my saving is at the moment. So I'll just keep doing that. I'll keep looking at those half price specials that I know are things that we go through and I'll buy them when they are actually on special. So that's what we've got. I collected 1,900 points today. Um, I did have a bunch of items to collect, but I just forgot to get it. It was down the health food aisle. It's a protein bar. I should have gone that way because um, I could have put it in my lunch for work. But, you know, I'll just have to get it next week. So um, I've got 1,900 points banked after today. So my savings for Christmas already, mind you, we are like halfway through March. My savings already are sitting at $90. So that tells you how much you spend because you literally, I think for every 2,000 points you get $10. Um, and I don't really think I've bought things just to get the extra points. I don't recall having done that. I might have included it in a shopping because it didn't matter if I got it this week or next week. Um, but yeah, I certainly haven't spent lots extra to get that. So it's quite surprising how things have changed and how our shopping has changed. But we are doing the best we can. We are eating relatively healthy. I've got some snacky things, like I said. Um, we're going to be away on Saturday. Might even take a couple of things when we go and watch the bowls final on Friday night. Um, but apart from that, our meals during the week are actually pretty good. So that's all I've got to share with you today. I'm also catching up on my subscription boxes and other ones. I haven't got many more to edit now and I will try getting some more filming done now that I've got Monday, Tuesdays at home uh, because that will give me some time when the house is quiet. So until next time, I hope you've had a great week. Take care and I will see you in the next time. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye.